I want this dude's head. I want him on my resume for sure. And uh, yeah, I just know that that'll put me in a good spot and I'll be happy there. Whatever comes if, after that, I'll be ready. My next guest has got a huge fight next Saturday, UFC 297 in Toronto. He's going to be taking on Charles Jordan. He's going into enemy territory. It is uh, Sean Woodson here on the program. Sean, how are you? Enemy territory. I love it. That's right where I want to be. I'm doing great, man. How about you? I I'm doing awesome. Uh, just how excited were you to get this fight? I mean, obviously, uh, it's kind of neat to, to go to a different country and take a fight, but you're fighting a pretty big name in the division in Charles Jordan. Uh, just tell me uh, how this all came together and your, your excitement level for this one. Yeah, I'm super excited, man. Like you said, it's a big opportunity, big name. Uh, it's my first time fighting out of the country. You know, I'm used to uh, always repping for St. Louis and, uh, you know, yeah, repping for my city here because I'm always fighting in USA. But now this is going to be the first time where I get to go and uh, represent my country. And I'm uh, looking forward to that. And, uh, yeah, Jordan, big name, best opponent to date by far. And this is a big opportunity for me that I'm uh, – it is a big opportunity that I'm more than ready for. You look like you got a plenty of notice for this one. Uh, I imagine you found out before the holidays. Yeah, yeah. It's all in all, it's been like eleven. I had like twelve week heads up notice. I uh, took about like two weeks to. Uh, I'd already been training really hard, and I didn't. You know, I've, I've overdone it before. I've gone into fights overtrained and you know whatnot. So I took about two weeks to relax, and then did a, a full ten week camp. And yeah, it's been a long and grueling camp. But yeah, it's, we're on the back end and the fight is right around the corner and I can't wait. Um, did you know much about Canada or Toronto before taking this fight? Uh, not too much. I mean, I know it's cold and I know that's where Drake's at. So that's about all I knew about <laughs> Toronto, Canada, to be honest. Let's talk about Jordan, 15-6-1 record. Obviously, uh, he's from Quebec, but obviously the country will, will be on his side there because he is from Canada. Uh, just stylistically, how are you looking at this one? I like it, man. Me and Jordan, we're both two guys that uh, want nothing to do with the grappling. We're both two, you know, strikers at heart. Uh, you know, we're both well-rounded, but we both, when we come in there, the uh, same thing is on our mind. We're trying to knock the guy out, uh, keep it on the feet for as long as possible. So I feel like the matchmakers really know what they're doing with this one. You know, they this fight has, uh, there's no way around it. Like, it's going to be an exciting fight. We're, you know, we're going to come in there and we're both going to be looking to shoot it out the whole time. How was camp? Because, uh, I mean, it's pretty much over at this point. Uh, who did you get to work with? Who are some of the main training partners helping you get ready for this one? Man, camp has been long and grueling, man. Like, it has been a long, grueling camp. The hardest camp I've ever had by far, for sure. And, uh, yeah, like I'm, like you said, I'm just excited that we're on the back end of it. And, you know, fight, the fight's right around the corner. Uh, for this one, I've been getting prepared with my same guys. You know, my team here, Wolvesden, and a couple of guys here from St. Louis have been coming from other gyms to help me out. Uh, one guy for sure, Dakota Bush, he's a UFC vet. He's been coming and giving me a lot of work and, you know, pushing me really hard. And, uh, yeah, he's, 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 he's top notch, man. I'm looking forward to seeing him get a shot back in the, uh, UFC soon. And, but yeah, outside of that, it's been my same crew. Did you get to work with Lucas Clay at all? I just spoke to him yesterday. I know he's fighting uh, that this weekend. He, I know, trained a bit with Dakota as well. So I don't know if you guys got to work. He's a light, uh, well, lightweight welterweight, I think. Yeah, yeah, he's like, wait, no, I'm, I'm super familiar with Lucas. You know, we're, oh, cool. we're friends, you know. Uh, we haven't got an opportunity to train together. Uh, I would like to train with him for sure. But yeah, no, not this camp. We haven't trained together. Okay, makes sense. Uh, the weight cut, how's all that going? We just had the holidays. I know you're a pretty big guy and you're going to be traveling a bit. Um, how, how's all that going out of the fight? Yeah, like you said, the holidays just paid. The weight cut's going great. The weight cut's going fine. But this is my first camp where I've been blessed to where all my camps have been around the holidays. You know, I've still been able to enjoy Christmas and Thanksgiving every year since I've been in the UFC. But yeah, this is the first one where it's fall right on the holidays and I had to miss out on Thanksgiving and Christmas, which that kind of sucked. But I mean, you know, this this job comes is holds top priority. So, you know, I'm not tripping for real. But yeah, the the camp is going. I mean, the weight cut is going good. But uh, of course, I got my eye on a ton of food spots and a ton of food that I want to hit after this fight. For sure. Yeah. Pretty, uh, pretty good city for that. Um, who's going to be making the trip with you? Who will be in your corner for this fight? Oh, my same three. It's going to be the same as last time. My head coach, Mop Andrew Evers, my dude, Jordan Dowdy, and my strength and conditioning coach, a.k.a. my brother, Matt Owen. Uh, yeah, just them three guys. Same as last time. How's this fight playing out on January 20th? How do you see it going down? Uh, how do I see it going down? Well, like I said, we're both strikers. That's all we're trying to do is strike. But I mean, I see it no different than everybody else I call when I say that, you know, as much as they want to strike, they're all going to end up shooting. I see me and him coming out and 
striking for a little bit, but then once that doesn't go his way, I see him trying to get me down to the ground. But all in all, I definitely see a finish coming. I don't this this fight is not going to the judges. A win here for you over Jordan. Where does that put you? Because again, Jordan's been in the UFC for a bit. He's he's got a pretty decent name, and you'd be winning a fight in his sort of backyard, so to speak. I mean, the Canadian fans will be on his side. It's got to be a big win for you, especially if you go out there and get it done. Yeah, I've been, I, yeah, I've been getting I've been getting tagged and a lot of stuff on Instagram about you know top fifteen and this and that and what's next. And I never really like to look too far ahead. I never really like to think about you know what's next. I know it'll be something big. It'll it'll put me in a really good spot. That's all I know. You know, as far as a number next to my name and top, I don't care about that. I just, I want this dude's head. I want him on my resume for sure. And uh, yeah, I just know that that'll put me in a good spot and I'll be happy there. Whatever comes if, after that, I'll be ready. How much of a, a big year do you think you have ahead? Because, you know, one of the things with you, you you've had a, you've had a great UFC record. I know just you've had like injuries or layoffs, like all these like little things that just haven't worked out. But you feel like this could be the year where you really make a lot of gains just if, if all goes well and you're healthy and you can get the fights you want. A hundred percent. A hundred percent. Like you said, that's been my one thing is not being as active as I'd like to be due to injury and other things. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm super. I, that's another thing. Along with getting Jordan a name, I was also super happy that this fight is, you know, is five months. It was like a five month turnaround or something like that versus eight months to 10 months like I've had before. So, yeah, this turn around fighting again five months after picking up a W that I'm really happy about that. And I feel like, yeah, this is the year that I can really make waves, really make a statement starting off the year fighting in January, which I love. And that sets me up to get in at least three this year. I like to do, uh, you know, January and then probably like around like late April, May ish, and then get one in like October, early November before the holidays this time. And yeah, I, that's 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 my goal. I want to get three in this year for sure. Um, and then I was going to ask you too, uh, how many more fights do you have left on your deal? So this is actually the first fight on a new four fight deal. After my oh, last awesome. Yeah, after my last fight, they uh gave me a new deal that I was, you know, super happy with. You know, it was all that, all that stuff. That last fight, I went through four opponents. I was super professional, cooperative throughout the whole thing, and I was hoping that they, you know, showed me some love for that. And they definitely did with this new four fight deal for sure. Good. That that's got to feel nice going into this fight. I know nothing's guaranteed in MMA, but to have that new contract, right. that's got to be feeling uh, great, right? Yeah, nothing's ever guaranteed for sure. But yeah, this being, you know, the first fight on a brand new deal, that's uh yeah, that's a great feeling and something I'm super grateful and thankful for. Last question, how are the holidays? What did you get up to? Like you mentioned, you had obviously the fight coming up, but did you get to enjoy some time with the, with your loved ones and all that? How did all that go? Yeah, that's pretty much it. That's all the good that's all the good that came with the holidays this year was just enjoying time with loved ones. Usually, you know, I'm a big foodie and like you know, I plan these cheat days out and holidays, I make sure I got room to go all out and stuff but yeah this these two holidays i had to uh miss out on the food action but yeah i just got to spend time with loved ones and family time and just enjoy that and we're looking forward to seeing you compete again uh next saturday ufc 297 i'm looking forward to this if there's anyone you want to thank sean any sponsors any social media you want to mention i'll give you the last word uh social media you can check me out stl sniper 314 on instagram it's pretty much the only social media i use for all that other stuff's too confusing for me uh and then <laughs> My normal people, man. Uh, my strength and conditioning coach, Matt Owen, my team here, Wolvesden, and yeah, everybody, everybody who's uh believed in me and all my supporters here and just St. Louis City as a whole. I love it.